Hello and welcome to Hank Green looks at YouTube with you because YouTube is beautiful, isn't it? Beautiful. Look at it. Jimmy Kimmel is being mean to children. Ellen is Ellen and Thor is also being mean to children and meet the new YouTube comments. That's really what we're here to talk about today. Actually, not quite. Today, we're going to be talking or this video rather, we're going to be talking about the the actual process of incorporating your Google Plus account into your YouTube account what all the different options mean and why sometimes you don't get the same options as other people. So the first thing we're going to do is sign into a YouTube account. We're going to sign into Truth or Fail because I have not yet uh, I have not yet connected that with a Google Plus account. So you'll see at the top there it says connect to Google Plus to maintain access to the new comments. Okay, I will do that. That is the thing to do. Now, this is one of the two screens that you can get while doing this. Uh, the reason why there's more than one screen? I don't know. We'll look at the other screen in a bit. Right now, we're going to look at the YouTube is updating your channel, and you get two options, but actually three, um, if you look closely. So first, yes, use truth or fail everywhere. Easiest option if you don't use other Google products on this account. Don't listen to any of the thing the things that they say. So what that means is yes, use truth or fail everywhere. We will create a truth or fail profile on Google Plus that will be the profile for this YouTube account. That profile a Google Plus profile is the thing that Google Plus creates for a person. The only difference between these two things is that you get on uh, clicking this option, you get uh, truth or fail uh, Google profile. If you click on this, you get truth or fail Google page, a Google Plus page. And Google Plus pages are designed for brands and for businesses. And like Vlogbrothers has a Google Plus page. Hank Games has a Google Plus page. It doesn't have a Google Plus. Hank Green has a Google Plus profile. So the question here is, do you want to link it up with a Google Plus profile or do you want to link it up with a Google Plus page? You keep truth or fail. Uh, it, nothing. Neither of these options change the truth or fail page. It's still youtubecom slash truth or fail. And the fact that it's, I mean, it's so opaque what the difference between these two things are. That uh, and like, but that that's the difference. The other thing is that down here, when you're like, okay, I've decided, I've made up my mind. Now I'm gonna go to click on, and then it's what's this other option? Used my Google name? What? Is that option? That's not. That should be one of these options. How is that different? So you click on that. Ah, which one of these do you want to use on YouTube? Truth or fail? Your Google name or truth or fail? Your YouTube name. And what that's asking you is, do you want to change your YouTube account's name to match with your Google Plus, your current email address's Google Plus? So you're signing into YouTube with a Gmail account. Got it. That Gmail account automatically, because it's a Gmail account, has a Google Plus page. It's asking right now, do I want to link, do I want to make my YouTube channel the same thing as my Google Plus page? I would strongly suggest against doing this because it's irreversible and the only way to change it is to delete your YouTube channel, which none of us want to do. It also, I think, changes the URL of your YouTube channel to youtube.com slash not truth or fail, but youtube.com slash a bunch of characters. So don't do that. Uh, and now I want to go back. How do I go back? I want to keep my YouTube name. Ah, and then it takes me back. Why isn't there a back button? Seriously? Okay. Anyway, I want a Google Plus page to go with my uh, to go with my thing here because Google Plus pages allow certain things like multiple managers. Multiple people can go in and, and manage the page, so it doesn't have to be me. Um, and uh, it's so various things function slightly differently. Uh, but it seems like truth or fail isn't a person. It is a thing that exists. So it shouldn't have a profile. It should have a page. And now we are done. We've figured it all out. We understand and we click done and Google Plus now creates a page for truth or fail. It's updating my channel. And now I have a truth or fail YouTube channel and I have a truth or, truth or fail Google Plus page. And the problem is that everybody's thinking of it like there's two things, but in fact, there are three things. So now I switch account and I can switch. What do I have? Why do I have two here? That shouldn't be, there should only be one. <sighs> I, and I can have 
Oh, geez. Invalid parameter? Okay, well. Ruther fail. Now, now we see that there is a thing that is, so if I switch accounts, I can switch account to truth or fail, the Gmail address. That doesn't have a YouTube channel. That, I don't even know if I go to account, I don't think it even has a channel. And then if I switch account to truth or fail, the original YouTube channel, that now has the YouTube channel. My channel. Hooray. This is where the YouTube account is. Um, and then if I go to Google+, Plus, this is me using Google+, Plus as the truth or fail page. Now, if I want to switch to the uh, truth or fail Google+, Plus page for the email address that I originally created the truth or fail channel with, then I have to click on that, but there isn't one. There's also apparently two truth or fail pages, but I promise you that is because I made a mistake uh, in the long process of trying to figure out how to make this video. So, that is one of the things that can happen. We're also going to sign out and see another way that Google will bring you into the new system. If I go to Hank Games, uh, okay, what's the password? So now, now I'm on Hank Games, which I also haven't switched over. Now if I click Connect to Google Plus here, I get a different dialogue. Here, I get choose an existing Google Plus page or create a new one because Hank Games already has a Google Plus page. So, what it's asking for, and it, the use my profile name thing is down here buried. So what it's asking now is do I want to create a new Google Plus uh, page and keep my YouTube new username? Do I want to create a new Google Plus page with a different username and change the name of my channel? Or do I want to link with an existing Google Plus page that already exists that Google knows about? Or, fourth option, hiding down here, do I want to use my profile name? So the, this, is the, this is the name of the Gmail account that I signed up for the Hank Games account with, which is called Hank Green because it asked for a name. Now, when you're on this screen, it's like, I don't want to use my name, but does that mean I don't want to use my name and keep going forward with this process? Because at this point, I just want to turn my computer off because I'm freaked out. But in fact, if you click this button, it is just the back button. I don't know why that doesn't say back back to the previous screen, because that's terrifying to me, but it doesn't say that. And so what I want to do here, because I already have a Google Plus page that is existing, I want to link the Hank Games account with the Hank Games, uh, the Hank Games Google Plus page with the Hank Games YouTube channel, and all I have to do is click on that and click Next. Now you can also do that if it doesn't identify that you have an existing Google Plus page, you can do this thing and there's a whole procedure to find out how to link it with your channel. So I just click that, and magically now my google plus page is attached to my to my so hank games now is attached to hank games on google plus now hank games can comment again and it doesn't really have to pay any attention to the google plus page exists in general what we need to realize is that though we have had to incorporate our google pluses into our youtube accounts that doesn't mean that we like have to do anything with google plus it just means that we had to figure out which of the options that they gave us to fi to f the, to click on and they i mean no offense youtube but you did a really horrible job of helping us figure out which one of those options we should actually click on by hiding things by making two of the options options and the third option a, a different kind of option and not identifying that there's a difference between a page and a profile and that's really the big difference between these things and also not identifying on that screen that if you have an existing Google Plus page you can indeed link it with an existing YouTube channel manually and you don't have to create a new Google Plus page and also that there's three different things there's the Gmail account and the Google Plus account and the YouTube account and all of these things need to be linked together in a way that is useful for the user and and for the back-end YouTube developers who need to make the website work for us. That is that is a complicated situation, and it is difficult. It's, it's been a difficult transition um, for them and for us. I think that it will probably be a lot less confusing now if all of this can go through and people you know, will all have their all of their accounts unified in this way. That will be nice. Um, and there are some advantages to this, we will which we will discuss in the next video, where we talk about the new YouTube commenting system and how I feel about it and what is good and what is bad about the new system. All right, thank you for listening. Hopefully you understand. It is complicated. If you don't understand, I understand that you don't understand, but this is the best I can do to explain it. Okay, see you next time.